Hey guys, it's Evan, the paramedic coach, your paramedic coach. I want to welcome you again to the members area. Thanks for having me, and thank you for allowing me to come around and help you with your career. Now, the next step in this paramedic series, the AOS Provider Series, Advanced DMT Series, is knowing the aspects, the proper aspects, to downgrade a call from ALS to BOS. What are, what are my thought process when this happens? What am I thinking about when this happens? I'm going to run it to you right now, and here we go. First things first. In my practice, if, if there's anything that I can do for the patient, if there's anything that I can do to help the patient that's in my toolbox and not in my partner's toolbox, it's my call, number one. Number two, if you're on the fence and you're trying to decide, decipher, hmm, should this go ALS or BLS? ALS or BLS? I think the patient's okay, but any of these things come into your mind, trust me. Just go ahead and take the call. There's even times where I just, I don't put an IV in, but I'll do an EKG, I'll get a blood sugar, set of vitals, do a physical, talk to the patient, and good documentation. But something, something in, my, in my gut was telling me, all right, look, you know, I, this, is, this feels funky, it feels different. Let me just go ahead and do an EKG and a blood sugar and sit with him and I'll, I'll take it, I got this. I'll, I'll, get, I'll relay the report. Uh, third time, what I do is, if there's ever a call that's tricky, that's uh, interesting, maybe where there is law enforcement involved, maybe uh, where there is, um, and law enforcement means like there's a, a victim, a clear-cut victim, someone's gotten badly hurt, or maybe your run form might go to court because, you know, a, has been a really bad MVA, something, or something out of the ordinary that you see, something that you don't see normally where there's other agencies involved that you don't normally deal with, all right? Uh, maybe even a call that made the news, something like that, something funky, something interesting. I go ahead and tech that. Just so it shows like a high level of care tech it, I took charge of it, and you need to have that good documentation. I trust my documentation over my partners. I have great partners, but at the end of the day, you're the highest level of care. You're in charge. So I'll go ahead and document those. Now, here's what I want to talk to you about when you're actually going to go ahead and downgrade. What you should do is do an assessment. There's times where I've been called in a fly car, even for a, a patient who was literally just, you know, maybe just depressed or maybe just a little anxious. And, uh, you know, it was just a, a psychiatric crisis, if you will. And I just go, hey, how you doing today, sir? Any pain? You know, how you doing? Talk to the patient. I just go get your blood sugar real quick, get, get a set of vitals. Just assess them real quick. Just make sure, you know, just go do your, your basic, you know, physical exam that we talk about in, in some of the other videos, all right? Do your basic stuff and just you get your hands in there to see the patient. You never want to get into the routine of, oh yeah, my partner's got it. I'm not even going to assess him. Put the patient in the back of the doors and go to the captain's chair or, or go to the, even worse, go to the driver's seat. All right. You don't want to do that. Assess your, assess your patient and, and see what's going on. So that basically, essentially what I do is I'm going to downgrade. I do my assessment. I get some vitals. Maybe get a few other things. And then if I'm comfortable, downgrade the call to my partner and go drive. All right. That's the thing. If you're on the fence, go ahead and check it. And guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for having me.